there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name's Cindy, and if you haven't guessed already, I like to make things using repurposed and recycled materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other upcycling tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below any of my videos. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to click on the bell icon as well. Anyway, thank you for being here. You never know what you might find. I've made uh, Easter decorations from eggshells, fused glass jewelry from recycled bottles using my microwave, and even some costume aprons from some plastic grocery bags. Currently, I'm working on renovating my messy craft room with what else but recycled materials. And if you've missed any of those projects, you can get to all those links in the comment section of this video. As I've already mentioned, I like to use a lot of recycled materials and even trash to make new things. So if you're expecting a Martha Stewart uh, home and garden kind of farmhouse craft room makeover, then you're probably gonna feel like you fell down a rabbit hole. But if you like to experiment and you're feeling just a little bit curious, come along and check out my most recent upcycled project for my craft room makeover. So I have two projects today. This is a look at some cabinet handles that were pretty plain. And so my idea was to cover them with some jute twine and some paper mache. So here I'm just using my hot glue gun and the twine and I'm wrapping the cording all the way around the handle. Once the handle was covered with the twine, I used some Mod Podge and tissue paper and a small paintbrush to cover the twine with a little bit of tissue paper. So now the paper mache is dry and I've made my handles a little bulkier and they're a little bit uneven, so it was time to paint them. And if you've seen any of my other projects, you might have seen that I've been using some rusted tin cans in a lot of the different projects in my craft room here. So I wanted to kind of try and match that rusted metal look. So I just played around with a lot of different paint uh, types. I started with some silver spray paint and then I just switched to some of the other colors that I'm using in the room. I used the gray, uh, some gray and some orange and some yellow, and I just played around with it until I had it looking the way I wanted it. So here I'm brushing on some of the gray paint that I used for the outside of the cabinet, and then I'm just dabbing it off with some paper towel. And I'm adding water as I need to kind of uh, pull off some of the black paint so that the silver shows underneath. And I'm going to use that same technique for the yellow and for the orange. So once I had the look I wanted, I decided to go ahead and seal them with some more uh, Minmax Polycrylic to add a little bit of shine and to seal the paint. So here I'm just brushing on a thin coat to finish off these handles. The second project was a little trickier because I was trying to upgrade a doorknob but I didn't want to remove it from the door. I did want it to match the finish that I put on the door and you can see here the tin cans that I've added to the door. 
So I'm trying to make the door handle have a similar look. So I started with some sandpaper and just sanded off some of the shiny finish so that I could hopefully glue some pieces to it and they would stick a little bit better. So I saved a lot of tin foil pieces and I just made some sort of candy cane shapes that I wanted to glue to the doorknob. And here I'm using some Gorilla Glue and some hot glue in combination to glue the pieces to the doorknob. The only thing you want to be careful about is that you're not getting the glue in the back part where the handle meets the door because you want the door handle to still turn. So here's what the handle looked like after I had all of the foil pieces glued on. And my next step was to add a sort of a dome shape to the very front of the doorknob. And to do that, I have a dapping and doming block that I'm using with a bottle cap to shape the bottle cap into more of a dome shape. If you don't have a dapping block, you can probably just use the bottle cap as is, but I wanted a little bit more round shape. So here I'm using some hot glue to glue the bottle cap to the front of the doorknob. And after that, this project will be pretty much like the first project. I'm going to take some tissue paper and Mod Podge and cover the whole door handle, keeping the glue and the tissue paper out of the mechanism of the door handle. Then I'll go back with uh, the silver spray paint, the gray paint, the gre uh, yellow paint, and the orange paint until I get the rusted kind of finish that I like. So here are the cabinet handles. I think they turned out okay and they look a little better than the plain white. They match the room a little bit better. But I really like how my door handle turned out. I think it matches the tin cans, the rusted tin cans that I put on the door really well. And it's just a little more fun and textured than the door handle that was there before. So here's a quick preview of all the projects that I've done so far on my craft room makeover series. You can see my cardboard organization wall. Um, I also made the cardboard door trim and the cabinet uh, organization space on the left there. So those are the projects that I've done to date. You can find all of the links in the comment section of this video. And if you liked what you saw today, I hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel and also check out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com. Thanks again. See you next time.